Hey there, so fans, John Matrix here. Today, with a review of a Wii Toucan gas blowback pistol. The Toucan is basically a clone of the Smith & Wesson MMP 9mm. And I bought this because I actually have a real one and I want to be able to train with uh, a clone. This one I got at evic.com at the end of March of uh, 2012. So I think they had that on their website barely a week when I noticed it and so I grabbed it. The price point was uh, just right, 100 bucks. So let's get started. Okay, it uh, comes in this uh, regular Wii USA box. Nothing specific about it. Um, open it up. It came with this manual. And this manual is actually for their Glock series. But uh, I guess it's... Uh, similar functionality as, as their Glock series but they did not come with a unique manual um, and if you've seen other reviews on YouTube um, you'll notice that this one did not come with the pink inserts only with three separate black ones which actually is fine with me I mean I really wasn't going to do anything with the pink ones anyway but just like the real MMP it comes with three back straps to fit your hand um, you pick it up <coughs> and it comes with an orange tip and comes with two stickers. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see if I can see that. Made in Taiwan. Comes with a takedown lever, just like the real one. Um, it's got ambidextrous slide release. Basically, there's nothing, there's no tray marks on here except for there, where you're going to see we, the we symbol. And look on the other side, same thing. And you've got a unique serial number. And besides that, there are no other trades on here. Okay, it does not say Smith and Wesson or anything. I guess they didn't want to get in trouble. Comes with the Picatinny rail, just like on the real one. And on the very top, it does say 9mm. And it even has, it mimics the chamber hole of the real one. So you can see if you have a chambered round in there. And that's pretty cool. At the, it's a little extra trouble they went through just to, just to put that realism in there uh, as you can see it's got the three green three green dot sights and this is um, this is a nice weight I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give you guys a comparison of this one the real one uh, in another video but this one I just wanted to show what it came with and let me show you the magazine as it falls out of my hand Give me one second. <clears throat> so here's the magazine. <clears throat> and from what I understand, these are unique. This is a unique magazine to this uh, pistol. So I guess we'll have to wait a little bit for um, for spares. And it mimics uh, how many rounds? This holds 22. The real MMP holds uh, 17. And I'm going to uh, do a quick uh, shoot test in a second. Okay, shooting with 0.25 gram BBs. This shoots about 315 in the middle of the mag uh, with uh, 0 0.20 gram BBs so that's uh, right on par with uh, most airsoft pistols I used uh, propane by the way and you can take this apart by pulling the slide all the way back and flipping down this takedown lever and the slide comes off and take a look there has seems to have a blue barrel and from my from my experience with we the blue barrels are the type bore ones so that's pretty good and this red tip seems to be permanent which is pretty cool I will uh, do further shooting tests outside let you know how accurate it is and how far it goes um, and that's the lower slide here. Now my only thing is I gotta figure out how to put it back together because when I tried to put it back together this 
would not go back up. So anyways, uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyway, until next time, um, look out for my uh, other video, which I'm going to compare the real one to this one. Thanks.